It's a privilege to be here at Semmelweis University and give a lecture about digitalization in the healthcare sector with particular reference to cardiovascular medicine. Digitalization can be seen all over the field of medicine as a glimpse in the horizon. And uh, people are currently asking themselves, what's gonna happen with digitalization? What is the impact of digitalization on my professional work? What is the impact of digitalization on workflow, process, and patient treatment? So I will uh, explain and explore to the audience, with the audience, the huge impact of digitalization, which will be disruptive. It is a disruptive element in healthcare. That means that it will dramatically change and replace current practice. And this will come with an enormous speed. So we need to go into digitalization with our brains, with our minds, with our empathy, and with our practical medical execution. We need to learn about digitalization, to take and to cover the huge uh, benefits that we can gain for our professions and for patient values. So if I look to the hospital in five years from now, I envision something different from the hospital structure that we, that we see today. Different buildings with different content, with different workflows, but also with different people and different responsibilities according to the demands, the challenges and the opportunities of digitalization. Digitalization will play a key role for risk prediction for individual uh, patients, for, for citizens and for patients actually. We will reach out to a preclinical stage using digitalization. It will play a key role in the execution of operations in surgery, for example, as it will involve 3D printing of predict, to predict operations, as it will be uh, used to promote robotics and automatization in, in, in surgery. By the same time, digitalization will be helpful to implement safety and security systems for the patient to make the treatment more effective, more safe, and at the end of the day, more beneficial to promote patient values, which is a longer and a better life. And we should fight for this together. So it's a huge opportunity. I have a long-standing relationship to the city of Budapest, to the country of Hungary, and to Semmelweis University. I'm, I'm a friend for more than 20 years to the current rector of the Semmelweis University, Professor Bela Merkli. We have an uh, exchange on a scientific basis, on a clinical basis, but also, uh, and that's important to me as well, on a personal and friendship basis. I've been visiting Semmelweis University many, many times over the last uh, 20 years and I was always impressed by the strengths of the clinical work, the quality of the clinical work, but also the quality and the outcome of the scientific work of all the institutions uh, of Semmelweis uh, University. So it's a strong and long-standing friendship between University of Leipzig, which is my home university, and Semmelweis University in, in Budapest. And I will take that to uh, the future to even strengthen the relations and the networks, the exchange and the friendship with our colleagues from Semmelweis University.